Anyway, we're back here at Tire Coatings today. A lot of you guys asked for the uh, lens cleaning uh, tutorial, so we're going to start with that. So this is what we're dealing with here today. Got a little forerunner. We're going to introduce you to the guys. This is Rob here. Hey, how are so, you? One of my best customers here. This is Ross, the owner, the king of the ship. Allows me to do what I do here for you guys. We are going to do the number one question that I had since those videos. And even in my business the last 10 years, I've had more than enough questions about the lenses. That's my favorite thing to do. Always going to start with our cleaning clay. We're going to go to our sandpaper. We're going to rub it all over, all over that lens. And in most cases, every lens that you have in any type of modern car has a clear coat coating on top. So we're just going to make this basic. We're just going to do one swipe of 1500 and then we're going to polish with a number one cloth, number one polish. It's called cutting compound. And then just to finish it off, we're just going to do the number three. For headlights, this is going to be A-OK -okay for what you guys are doing at, here at home. So the first step always is cleaning. So this is just going to be a soap and water mixture with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of clay. Gonna give this a little. All you want to do is you just want to get all that curvy stuff off, bugs, tar, anything that you can get in, and I'll show you that little, all these little dots here. See how it just grabs that and just takes that right off. And then you're always wanting to start with a smooth surface, so you can feel the roughness through the. Play bar. Yep, and you can see all the little, all those little dots, all those, uh, everything that it's grabbing off of that lens is right there. So now all I'm going to do, guys, just give that a quick little, quick little tape. You just want to get press that little line there. You can see the little line. It looks like you've done this once or twice before. Uh, like today for you guys, I'm just going to do like a quick 1500 3M wet sandpaper. Um, so again, use your soap and water, wet sand, wet that up as best possible. I'm just going to start and just do small little circles. That's all I do is just small little circles. Keep that surface nice and moist. Work your way across the lens. Try to keep this as flat as possible. So now that I've done sort of one quick little scan over the whole thing, I want to go back and do one more scan over the whole thing just to make sure we've hit every little every little spot. We always have this taped up, but we're just always going to fold that sandpaper in half and just be super careful and just put your, your fingers really close together and just get a nice even pressure. There. Sanding is done. Uh, see, eh? That's a quick wipe. So for you guys at home, that's generally what it should look like. We're gonna make it look worse before it looks better. Now the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that uh, polisher. I use the Makita. It's a little bit better, a little bit more uh, robust. And we're gonna start with our number one solution with our number one pad. So this is what we're gonna use. White top, white pad. So generally, we're just gonna press this little tip against the uh, against the lens so you're not lobbing it on. Usually doing lens, I'm gonna start it at number one. We wanna put a little bit of pressure on there for uh, to get those scratches. Uh, but for this one, we're just gonna use a one when it's plugged in. He's gotta plug it in, guys. He's gotta plug it in. going to grab that fluid. We don't want it to fling everywhere, so we're just going to grab it quickly. 
put some pressure down there. Work your way back. Moderate pressure. Try to get to that edge without scraping too much. I'm gonna go one more layer just in case. Always go more than what you need. I'm gonna up that speed, up my pressure one more time before I do that final coat. It looks like a brand new head. So now that it's looking good, we're gonna do one more step. We're gonna go to the blue pad, blue cap. Always match your pads with your cap. And for this one, we're just gonna up our speed to number three. So three is gonna give us about 1500, between 1500 and 2000 RPM. That's what we want for this fluid here. Just go around, clean up any fluid that's around here. We got a couple little edges here. And otherwise, for you guys at home, that's what you get. A little bit of work. That's really good. 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Pretty good. See, I wish yours were like this. Yeah, you just have to do what you did with this leg to my leg now. <laughs> he was fucking rubbing moss in it and he's fucking this work. <laughs> fucking spit. Yeah. Why is yeah. this work? Yeah, because he's got all the gear here, right?